أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم. Now I want to speak about a certain concept which is misunderstood by many Muslims is when the Quran is being spoken of as a book, al kitab. This is in the beginning of the Quran after al Fatiha. This is what's mentioned about the Quran. ذلك الكتاب which is translated as this is the book. Now this has caused many people to ask the question. The Quran wasn't a book when this verse was revealed. It's important firstly to understand a few things. Now another question I was asked was, was why was the demonstrative pronoun of distance used? Because a book is something that is close to one, that one reads, that one understands, that one recites. So wouldn't it have been better to use هذا instead of ذلك? ذلك means that, which is more distant than this, هو. Now just to answer this question, I'm going to mention a few points here. So the first point we mentioned already, the Qur'an was not a book when the Qur'an was revealed. Second point, the word kitab does not mean a book. So the question, what does it actually mean? I mean, it's translated here as book. Everybody has been taught kitab means book. That's just basic Arabic grammar. Actually, however, in classical Arabic, it does not mean a book. And I have a short video about this. You can watch this, inshallah. Now, kitab actually means a writing, but also can mean a decree, a prescription, a judgment, a record, a scripture. So, for example, when prescribing something, Allah says about fasting, Kutiba alaykum as-siyam. Fasting has been prescribed for you from the same root as kitab. We have this ayah in the Quran. Inna iddata shuhuri inda Allahi ifna ashara shahran fi kitabillah. Indeed, the number of months with Allah is 12 lunar months. In the register of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. From the day he created the heavens and the earth. Yawma khalaqa samawati wal arda. So here, kitabillah does not mean the book of Allah, obviously. It's talking about him decreeing 12 months. He could have made it 13 months. He could have made it 14 months. But he chose to make it 12 months. So kitab here means a decree. It doesn't mean a book. And actually nowhere in the Quran does the word kitab mean a book the way we know it today. So we also have, for example, a record. Like, for example, on the Day of Judgment, when we get our record. It doesn't mean a book. It means a record. And finally, Scripture. Revelation from Allah SWT. Scripture is also kitab. Now, in Arabic, the al, the elif lam of definiteness, has a number of meanings. So I have actually a course on this, which is, and this is one of the aspects I cover. But with regards to the Elif Lam of definiteness, one of its meanings is to single out something, to be the highest, as well as perfection. And that's the meaning that Al gives al -kitab, this word, Al-Kitab. And here, Kitab obviously means a scripture, with its decrees by Allah SWT. So it commands, prohibitions, and all these things. So it actually doesn't mean physically a book. Now going back to our question. Why was the demonstrative pronoun of distance used there? Scholars give two reasons for this. And both opinions are supported by the Qur'an. So the first one, in Surah Al-Buruj, what does it say? بَلْ هُوَ قُرْآنٌ majid, But this is an honored Qur'an. في لَوْحٍ محفوظ. Inscribed in a preserved slate or tablet. And obviously this is talking about where it exists. And obviously there's a distance. So therefore, Varika was used. So that's one opinion there. The second opinion, which is also supported by the Qur'an, and actually there's an ayah, you will see a very strong connection between this ayah and the ayah that I'll show you now. وَإِن كُنْتُمْ فِي رَيْبٍ مِمَّا نَزَّلْنَا عَلَىٰ عَبْدِنَا and if you are in doubt about what we have sent down to our servant 
فَأْتُوا بِسُورَةِ مِنْ مِثْلِهِ So produce a surah like it. This is the challenge. To produce something like the Qur'an. Just one surah. The shortest surah is only three ayat. And no one has come close producing something like the Qur'an. It hasn't happened. Now, look at this connection. It says here, ذَلِكَ الْكِتَابِ لَا رَيْبَ فِيهِ Which there is no doubt in it. So here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying there's no doubt in it. That this is the scripture or the decree. Perfect. Elevated. The question is, if somebody does not believe it to be so, then it uses exactly the same word, raib. It says, وَإِن كُنْتُمْ فِي رَيْبٍ If you are in doubt. So in the top it says, there is no doubt. ذَلِكَ الْكِتَابُ لَا رَيْبَ فِيهِ There is no doubt in it. It's a guidance for المتقين. But then it says, if you are in doubt about what we have revealed to our servant, then produce a surah like it. This challenge actually indicates the elevated rank of this book above all other books. Now when I say book, obviously I'm using that loosely. I mean it in the literal sense. So you could say a writing or a decree or something along those lines. The Qur'an is in one place and all the rest are here. So here it's indicating its elevated rank. And then so this ismishara is used to indicate how distant it is from one being able to produce the likes of it. It's a challenge that has not been met. So that's why the ismishara for distance was used there. وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم والحمد لله رب العالمين